One of my most recent videos was all about GFCIs and how they work. If you've not checked that out, then I recommend you go to watch that video before watching this one. In the last video on GFCIs, I tested them all with a voltage tester and an outlet tester. But, in this video, I want to know the exact number of volts the plug is giving out when it's tested. Those two devices don't have that feature. So in this video, I'm going to be using a multimeter to test the GFCIs. What a multimeter can do, particularly this one, is find voltage for AC, voltage for DC, continuity, wattage, resistance, and this one has a battery test feature. However, for this video, I'm only trying to find the volts for AC, so that's the feature we're using. Alright, so this is the very first one we are testing today, and these we're going to go ahead and very carefully stick right into the plug. Alright, as we can see right here, it is given out about 119.5 volts, which is pretty normal. And when we test it, it should go to zero. If this does not go to zero, then this is a bad GFCI. So let's go ahead and test it. And as we can see here, the number went right to zero. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and push the reset button and these numbers should return back up to the 119, 120 volt range. So here we go. And it's right back up there. I found a GFCI right here outside, and no matter how hard I try and push the test button down, it's so stiff, it won't go down. And this might be a sign that this needs to be replaced. So, good thing I'm doing this video. I also found in the making of this video that everything right here is also protected by a GFCI. See how the light is on? And my panel is on. All right, let's go over here to the GFCI. And we'll see down here, if this GFCI ever tripped, then all my stuff would turn off. See? Three, two, one. See how the exit and emergency lighting just turned on? The panel is now off. And this light is now off. Mm -hmm. 